Hey everybody, it's Matt with uh, Matt's RC Addiction. You've seen videos on my page of the drone flying around. I haven't yet caught a, me actually capturing a drone flying itself. So I figure I'd give it a try. Uh, hopefully we got a good GPS signal and everything's calibrated just right. I don't know how how I'll take it. Hope I could get some good footage. So are you seeing it? I do have the action cam on my hat. So I don't know what I'll be able to do. The drone is on right now. We got our app pulled up. Got our controller. Got the lanyard around my neck. We're pulling eight GPS signals right now, and it's colder and shit out here. It was 50 degrees yesterday, and now I, you know always does that disconnect thing. I don't know what the heck that is. Well, now we got 11 GPS signals. Um, we got feet, speed, distance from it. Uh, the feet will bounce back and forth. I'm on concrete. Um, We'll just give her a fly and see what we could do. So we're gonna push down and out, get the blade starting. We can push this button right here to take off. Let it go with the button. It'll get to our height, as you can see. That's us on the camera. I'll be going back and forth. Here's the drone flying. I am flying in two mode. Take her up a little bit. It is a little bit breezy out here today, so we might see it mess around. Like I said, I hope I got calibrated good. Um, I calibrated when it was foggy the other day, so we're going to take her out a little bit. And she's wanting to lean for some reason. She must be just compensating. Take her up some more. I'm not going to take her real high today. Uh, took her high the other day, 320 feet. I guess y'all could still see it on camera. I don't know. Let's see, got her camera view right here. We scroll the camera down and up. Uh, I'm still practicing with this drone. Um, I don't do too much crazy things with it right now. I love my drone. I absolutely love this thing. I've never been good at flying drones. And I've been somewhat good with this one. See, for some reason we're losing altitude right there. You can see, you see this fly on the screen. It goes only goes to four, uh, 420. Uh, a lot of phones don't even support that. You, you lose kind of connection with it. Let me do a little spiral right here. Man, it's cold out here. See the flashing green lights up there? That means we have a GPS lock. The red is the front of the drone. We are getting a little bit of drift. That's why I'm not going to take it very high. I probably don't have a good calibration on it. It's hard to calibrate in this area. I got so many houses and cars and electric lines and I'm in the middle of the city so there's radio interference. Um, if you look, you see me ca camera up and down. Uh, we might, let's see, we might take a photo. Oh, see, there's us right there. Like I said, I'm not going to get too crazy with it because I don't think she has a good uh, GPS lock. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring her down a little bit lower. I've had had this. Uh, um, I did take it out Christmas Eve. Our Christmas Day, I have a video of that. Uh, it was real foggy that day. And um, not in that video, 
but in another video I uh, I didn't post up um, calibration I had to calibrate every time I went out because of the uh, wind that we had I mean the fog that we had I did have it take off on me I was flying it real fast and it just didn't want to stop but I was low to the ground like this so I was able to get to the ground um, no harm done to the drone kind of scared the crap out of me I shouldn't have been flying in that fog but I haven't really got to fly my drone yet I see it drifting right there see it shouldn't it shouldn't have drifted just now like I said I don't have the calibration ain't that good on it right now so we got the drone facing us and drop it down a little bit bring it towards us I am not recording right now on the drone I got enough videos as it is I kind of like taking pictures better it'd be cool if I could make a drone with sound but be able to cancel out the buzzing see she's drifting right now but that if you, I'm gonna bring it down low here that gimbal on it's really good I mean look at that look at that thing thing's stable See that? The gimbal is just awesome on this thing. Very fragile though. Very, very fragile gimbal. Um, something else we can look at is uh, I have it set up to where I can see the battery life on my controller and the battery life on the drone. Right now it's 66%. I do have two batteries on the drone. That's simply because uh, they have them for $39.99 on the uh, drone itself. For the the batteries, and uh, I just couldn't pass that offer up because usually they're a buck twenty. Like I said, I'm still learning how to fly it. See, like right there, I, it's messing up on me right now. And I'll tell you right now that what it was just doing just now, doing that little drift, that is not the drone's fault at all. It is mine. I have not calibrated it today. I calibrated it yesterday or the day before, and it was foggy and cloudy out. So what you just saw with the little bit of drift right there is not the drone's fault. This drone is perfect. This drone is great. Most of the time, these drones mess up under users. It, you, you see, you see it shaking right there. It, it see it's just having problems with calibration. I'm on a slant right here. I'm, I live in Kentucky. Everything's on a hill. But um, this is all I'm going to show you for the drone right now. I'll probably show you more during the spring. Um, yeah, that's uh, it's on second. Look how fast she goes on three. It's pretty dang quick. But uh, if you're in the market for a, a aerial view drone and it's not going to break the bank, get it. Get a Zero Explorer. This is a Zero Explorer V. Um, they've been running them real cheap. I paid $299 for this one. Um, <clears throat> plus, I had some coupon codes, so I ended up getting it for like uh, 257 battery camera even comes with an SD card and extra set of props so what we're gonna do is we're gonna land it and that's all she is thank you for watching